Hello, welcome to my channel. This is a free CAD quickie. I've been working on some uh, motor mounts and bearing blocks um, for a project I'm working on. And I came across one little thing that uh, often um, frustrates me is not being able to position a body. So these are bodies from the part workbench. And you see this one's nicely centered and it just happens, uh, was happened to able to do that because of, uh, you know, the way I built it. But I built these and I, and I translated them uh, to the side and this one just doesn't quite make it. Now, uh, placement of objects is, is sort of a pet peeve of mine because it's, it's um, a constant headache uh, as to what tool you can use for where. Uh, but in this case, I decided to use uh, draft, uh, try to use draft move, um, but you can't because draft move won't move a, a body. And then you, maybe if, if you put it in a part, I think you can. But then the part the part container has some troubles of its own that I've run into. I don't think it's quite mature yet. Um, that's certainly just my opinion, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use the draft measure tool, and you can probably use this measure tool as well, but I prefer the draft measure tool because it has uh, more advanced snapping. So what I'm gonna do is I have my plane set to this surface here. So my working plane is set to this surface because I wanna measure from the center of this curve or circle to the center of this arc. So I'm gonna move to the front and uh, I, the selection colors drive me nuts, but anyway. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the, cent the center of this circle and you can see I have my center snap on here. Select the center of that one and I'm gonna select the center of this, this arc here. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, so there it is. You see it's not that much of a distance. So it's only gonna be a small movement. And then I can get my, my uh, measurement right there. So it's 0.6 millimeters. Um, and that, fortunately that's a very nice even one and I might've been able to figure that out other ways. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the, uh, the bearing there. Um, yep, select that bearing, where is it? It's this one right here. And I'm gonna do transform. I'm gonna set the translation increment to 0.6. And then I just have to bop it over one and I should be good to go in that regard. Oops. Yeah, so that's nice, nice and centered. And then I have to do the same thing in this direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, get rid of the top of that. I'm gonna set my working plane again to, to right there. And in this case, it's just gonna be the two centers. So I'm gonna take the center of this and the center of that, because um, I want the whole bearing thing centered. So let's try that now. So with the bearing selected, I wanna do a move and select the center there. And see, even though it looks like it's moving, you'll, you'll see what happens is when I select that center, that's frustrating in itself. Actually, let's just do this. Let's um, restrain it to Y so, so we don't, get in the way. And when I select it, you'll see that in that case it moved. So like I said, it's a it's a it's a crapshoot sometimes. I don't know when it's supposed to work and when it's not. Um, but when I tried to move it in this direction, it didn't move. So you can try it, maybe it'll work. Um, if it doesn't, you can use this alternative method. I hope that helps you out and uh, thanks for watching my channel and I'll see you on the next video.